Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. It is time for the second challenge over at the Counterfeit Kit Challenge group, of which I am part of the design team. So I try to do as many of the challenges as I can. This time our challenge is to go with a ransom note style title, and I'm taking that challenge to the max. So let's get started. Now, before we start, I do want to tell you that this story is about snakes. And if that is not your thing, then this is not the video for you. Go ahead and shut that off now. But if you're still here, then you're OK with me revealing these photos. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here we go. These are uh, the same snake that we found in our basement one day. And uh, I covered it up with a bin so that I could scoop it up and take it out. And my husband does not like snakes. And while I'm a little nervous around them, they don't bother me like they bother him. So I'm going to tell this sto story um, a little bit from his perspective. But of course, because I'm telling the story, there's always my perspective in there too. And I've been holding on to this story for a long time because I wanted to do this really long title and I didn't know how to pull it off. But this ransom note style was the perfect opportunity to do that. So I have my bin of leftover letters that are not enough to spell much of anything out of a single set. And that is perfect for this ransom notes style. And I did choose to put in some red into the bigger part of the title. So that is a little more um, attention attracting. So this title is going to be both journaling and title. OK, as I was building the body of my layout, I was going to use uh, the other side of this piece of paper, which is just black. And I was going to do a belly band horizontal style layout. But when I was messing with this paper, I realized that I loved the other side and that art can totally tie in together the two parts of my title in a very perfect graphical way. So I am going to cut out an arc of the back of this paper and I'm going to use that as the main design element to this layout. And this was not planned at all. This was a total happy accident as I was doing this layout. And I'm very pleased with this idea and how it came out. So tell me about your happy accidents. Have you ever had great layouts that have come from something unintentional? All right. As as you think about your stories, I'm going to finish up uh, gluing down my title because this did take quite a while, both to build the title and to glue it all into place. Um, I decided that as I was working on this title, that it needed some punctuation to make the title flow better, also because it is part of my journaling. So I pulled out some commas and here I am pulling out some periods to create an ellipsis. And that helps tie in that first part to the arc, which flows down to the second part of the title. So this is all about making different parts and pieces separate and yet cohesive at the same time. And that is what that arc helped do and what my different little letter styling and punctuation helped do. OK, at any rate, the photos that I had as printed were too big, so I was able to trim them down and still get the hint of that bucket in the photos because I wanted that to be clear in the pictures that this snake has been trapped inside of a little bucket so that it could be taken back outside where it belongs. Um, this pattern paper had uh, patterns on it that reminded me of snake skin. So I cut apart the little bits that I had and I had two different colors of that. And that's all from some Viggy Booten paper. Um, and I'm just going to edge my photos with it. Um, I liked the style of not completely matting it. That was my original intention. But as I was working with the paper, the edges made a lot more sense, both because they look a lot more um, southwestern, uh, which you think of as rattlesnakes and things. This is not a rattlesnake. These are just garter snakes totally harmless snakes. They nest underground over winter and hibernate. And because we have um, concrete steps right at our old front door, that leads straight into the basement. I think that's how they're ending up in the basement. And yes, I do say they because we've had this happen more than once. And in fact, this story was from a couple of years ago and we just had another snake in the basement this summer. So it tends to be a summer thing as they come out of hibernation and um, end up in the basement and then they get too cold and I need to scoop them up and take them outside where they can be happier and get their sunbathing in the sunshine. So um, as I was telling you my story, uh, I did do a little bit of color blocking with my embellishments on that arc. This 
layout does not need a lot of embellishment because there is so much going on already with the title and the arc and you know the the ransomness of it um, i did do my journaling around the outer left hand edge and that kind of helps balance out that arc is a very heavy element very attention drawing and adding my journaling around as a border to the left hand is a very subtle soft way to balance out that heavy element over there because it does draw the eye in a little bit more and your eye can kind of bounce back and forth between those things. And I added a few more red enamel dots around other parts of the layout to tie in more to that bottom title. A few of the color uh, blocked elements to the arc itself with some embellishment, um, some graphics and some enamel dots. And that finishes off this layout. So what are your feelings about snakes? And do you have any snake stories? This is a great uh, video to share your stories with me because I want to know. I want to know about the stories. All right. I will uh, say thank you so much for watching as I leave you with these close up photos and I will be back. Let's see. Oh, my schedule is just not sticking in my head these days. I will be back soon with some more crafty videos for you. And until then, have a wonderful day.